First up, a true staple of Rockstar Games, Aliens. In this game you may find several strange x-rays. An alien-like skull can be found, and a skeleton that appears to be extraterrestrial in nature can be found at the Happy Volts Asylum. But what makes this easter egg a little creepier is the fact that the skull actually matches those of the x-rays. In the library, there is a framed photo of a male scientist who is widely theorized to be Dr. Watts. Standing next to him, you will see this gray alien, or alamow if you will. You can find this image hanging next to the staircase on the first floor, or in the asylum's reception area. There also happens to be an oddly shaped triangle that can be seen in the sky above Bullworth. It is different from both airplanes and the birds in the game. Since there are photos of aliens and bizarre skeletons in the asylum, many players have speculated that it is actually an alien spacecraft. Now, whether it's a Lamau or not, that's for you, Muda. It is still a UFO, and it is possible that this is actually an unused in-game blip. The same was said about the lights in the sky from GTA Vice City. As you roam about the game, you will hear strange talks of a haunted paper mill. An NPC character named McKinnis, who is found in Blue Sky Residence, will sometimes speak of this haunted building. He can be heard saying quotes like, You believe in supernatural stuff? I heard the paper mill might have like a portal or something, you know? And the police are even too afraid to go up into the attic of the mill. What's really weird is there is no paper mill in Bullworth. There's no paper mill in the game at all. It is possible that they are referring to one of the various abandoned warehouses in the new Coventry area of Industrial Park. It has also been speculated that it could be referencing some possibly removed game content. Maybe it was one of the elements taken out of the game, helping to keep it from its possible M rating. Talk of the building is often chalked up to McKinnis' paranoia. So the haunted paper mill, still to this day, remains a mystery. There is a theory that werewolves possibly exist in this game, or at least strange goings-on at the asylum again. In the asylum, there is yet another x-ray. This one with more of a human-like skull attached to a horizontal spine. In addition to this little chilling image, players have also heard strange howling sounds out in the woods at night. Some gamers have even claimed to have seen or even been attacked by them. Again, I hate to bring up the similarities, but unfortunately this title is like GTA San Andreas and the fact that because of the time of its release and the several PC mods, it's hard to decipher if they really exist or not. One creepy easter egg that remains undisputed though is the creature's x-ray itself. There's this rundown house in Blue Skies Industrial Park that at any time of the day can be found with the sounds of laughter, running chainsaw, 
and snoring. Not just that, but smoke can be seen coming from inside as well. In the rundown houses and apartment buildings in eastern New Coventry, and near the bridge to blue skies, voices can be heard at any time of the day or night. The words are all muffled and full of echoes, although a young boy can be clearly heard yelling, No! In the ambience files of the game, these are referred to as playground ambience in kids playing. However, there are no playgrounds in the game, not even at Bullworth. It's almost like the haunted paper mill. It is possible that the neighborhood where these voices are heard was meant to be a playground at one point, or something, or perhaps someone, much more sinister. This theory again leads to the asylum. Man! There is a lot of bad hoodoo there. When does it end? Hardcore rock star fans will know a awesome reference within the asylum to a rather dark character. A drawing of a cartoonish pig labeled Piggy can be found in the recreational room. This is noted as a possible reference to Pigsy from Manhunt, another rock star classic. Pigsy, for those who don't know, was a terror-inducing antagonist and overall mentally disturbed cannibalistic mass murderer who always wore a skinned pig's head over his face. He was also known to slaughter his victims with a chainsaw, which strangely ties in to the claims of a chainsaw sound coming from the old rundown house. Is this his home? This has left many players to theorize that Pigsy really is in the game. Another creepy fact to consider too about the Happy Volts Asylum is that there are no real inmates in free roam mode. However, there are voice clips and dialogue from various patients who are never seen or heard in the game. Asylum public announcements are also found in the audio files and can be heard randomly playing in the eerie chambers of the asylum. Is it possible there was a plan for missions here? Or at least inmates planned for the building that didn't make it into the game? But again, this was all probably removed to prevent the M rating. In closing, the unknown myths, legends, secrets, theories, and creepy easter eggs has done more than enough to make Bully forever go down in creepy gaming history. This game has a lot of creepy and unexplainable stuff and has some really good moments to freak you out if you dive too deep into the unknown. I encourage more creepy easter eggs in open world games. Take note developers, it helps draw attention to your game and is a good way to get people talking about it. Well, I think that's gonna do it for me today folks, I want to thank you all so much for watching, I truly hope you enjoyed. Hi I'm Mullet Mike with the Sticky Paddle Gaming Network and Full Screen Arcade saying keep it sticky, stay creepy, thanks for watching, peace! Thank you.